you told us wanted to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that was a bad poem. Ugh, stretching. I just woke up. It came out nice. What? Well, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last nine. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. When it goes the best, ah uh, yes. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. I really do hope there's a next time story. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem next? Okay. Yui, Natsuki, or Monica? I think Natsuki looks the second cutest. It's kind of hard to see Natsuki. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. Oh yeah, when I was doing the poem, Natsuki jumped a little little bit too, you know? She jumped. I made Yui only jump twice. Or, yeah, only twice. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, so basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Well, anyway, I guess I'll need, I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Uh, the music. Yeah, the music signifying something. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then it won't take that away from her. I should even read mine. Okay. Uh, Yui looks the third cutest. On second thought, maybe not. Not just joking. Mm. Yui stares at the poem. I mean, it passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Your blows are facing her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take you a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits 
that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make the style more deliberate, very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit to two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone as she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Asuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. Not sure if Yui is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yui smiles dreamily, as if the, that's a real opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, damn that. Oh, God, are you kidding me? I'm terrible at reading these. Lost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining sheet light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green, uh, what is that? Uh, I don't know what that is, so we're gonna skip that word. Of the future. I bathe, calm, calm, breathing, air of the pre present, but living in the past. The light thickens, I thicken back. I I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Yeah, it did. And I wonder if I, if I, wonder if I did it faster, would, would she actually say that? Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. No, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something very... Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into girls, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Baggy. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symb symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and seem to be left with nothing. That's a lot more than, that's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, if it makes me happy that you think that, just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my phone next? Now, I know before we before I click on Monica, I know there are multiple endings. I said this before, but I wonder. I'm like thinking. I was like thinking this entire video. Will I do all the endings, or will I do my blind ending and then my the good ending? Because I'm pretty sure there's a good ending to this game. I'll think about it. Depending on how intense this game gets, I'll think about it. Hi, Baggy. Hi. Having a good time so far? 
Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things you can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring these up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring these up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll, I have to. Wait, wait a minute. Monica wasn't even, like, on the poem at all. Like, she wasn't there. There's only three girls there. Siroi, Yui, and Natsuki. She wasn't there at all, so... I don't know. Don't worry, Baggy. We're all a little bears today, you know? But it's that sure sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Siroi would like. That's so. Uh, you and Siori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if he had those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well. We may be good friends, but Siori and I are actually really different. Opposites attract, people! Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other as well. Being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into this too much? Uh huh, I could be. Oh my gosh, I sound like Yui. But in case Siori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it, I could tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little b bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else's. Everyone else might be a little biased towards that kind of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. I don't need your help, Monica. You look the less cutest, even though you look cute, but not as much as she always does. So back off. This, that's my girl right there. Not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Maybe I can read this one. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. I see the direction the speckled protrudes. I don't know. That is. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. A peer, I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. When it's too late, my retinas. I already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I gotta scroll down. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. What does that mean? You know, that doesn't even sound, that sounds like foreshadowing. I don't know why, I don't know why that sounds like it's foreshadowing something in this game. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form, if what's that you call, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the part where that person who asked for feedback. Haha, uh -huh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really be powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. 
because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. That's true. If you try, if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. More foreshadowing. foreshadowing. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I don't need your advice. I, I don't hate Monica, I'm just saying. <laughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to this. This is literature club after all. I sigh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Of course, soon Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They j gingerly exchange sheets of paper, showing the respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh. Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can you be? How could that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language. I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Oof. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have c asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. She always liked it, and Baggy did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a lot, a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. N and Baggy liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. As if he suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress on your member, Yui. Eh. That's not what I... Y you're just... Yui stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Baggy appreciates my advice more than he pre appreciates yours. Sorry guys, well, sorry girls, but I'm not after you two, I'm after CEO. Huh, and now how, and now how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Don't make me choose. No, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over cute this thing. No. Um, is everyone okay? Like, you know what? I wasn't the one who's... Okay. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Baggy started showing up. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. That's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fight fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned toward me. As if they just noticed I was standing there. Baggy! She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted if for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Baggy. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not 
only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Baggy? Um, well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be... Help me, Sayori! Help me! I'm not choosing! I'm sorry! Asuki, Asuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defensive that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Huh? Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can two of you keep fighting when you know you're making a f your friend l feel like this? Maggie. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's not fair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless they always want to tell you it, what a stu stuck up joke she's being. She would never. Uh oh. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody...